Hey guys, welcome back to another Red Beard Outdoors episode. Today I'm in an undisclosed location. I'm fishing a private pond that is loaded with bass. We're gonna have to fish through a lot of dinks to get to the giants first. So um, I would say for every 20 dinks, you get a decent bass. So uh, like I said, let's uh, let's get through those dinks and try to find a giant, uh, maybe even a PB probably just jinx myself because I said PB but um hope to God maybe I can catch a PB uh, I took a four-wheeler out here got my uh, rig right here with my poles and uh, I'll be able to drive around the pond and have all my tackle ready to go right next to me so um, I have a top water but the way the winds blowing I'm gonna throw the wacky rig first and uh, work my way around this lake so let's get started Oh my god, dink. Dink number one. Get out of that. A little bit bigger of an upgrade, not much. That was a big one. Correction, not a big one, but a bigger one. There we go. Heading for the reeds. Heading for the reeds. Get out of there. Get out of there. Come on. Get out of there. Here we go. What a fight. What a fighter. Man, these bass, they fight hard. This one's not even that big. Probably about a little under a two. Not a bad one. What dink number is that? There's one. Oh, I love how they run with it. With this wind blowing at me, makes it a little bit harder for me to do this hook set. There it goes again. Nope. There we go. Man, they make a run for the reeds. They get up in that, it's all over. Dink. See ya. Oh. oh, I underestimated that. Didn't I, guys? Another little guy. Less than a pound, about a pound, maybe. Well. See, this is what I was worried about. Oh no. I got one. Shake him off, hopefully. Nope. He's gonna stay on there, isn't he? Wow, guys, that was the ugliest catch I've ever had in my life right there. Dink counter. Dink. There he goes. 
try my best guys um i swear these fish they flop around so much more than like lake bass do they're just so strong out here in this pond it's really hard to get treble hooks out of them especially when you're trying not to hook yourself which i've already done a few times and i'm bleeding so i have to drop those fish every now and then Punt. See ya. There we go. This one's a little nicer. Man, back to little ones. All right, new spot. New casting spot anyways. Let's see if I can cast on this. No way. No way. I don't know if you know it. You guys saw that. It had grass all over it and the fish still ate it. These bass are crazy. Be a big one somewhere. Some of those other ones were close, but I know this one has to be over a pound. All right, five more casts. Good casts, not bad ones. Um, hopefully I don't have any bad ones, but here's number one. It's okay one. Oh, I just heard a giant in a place where I can't catch fish. We checked that spot out earlier. We can't catch them there. Not from the shore anyway, so. It's probably deep in those reeds. It's cast number two. Cast number two. That's okay. That guy was a dink. Cast number three. Not a good cast. I think I can save it. And there's fish on it. This one's hung up or it's big. This one's hung up or it's big. Ah, uh, mixture. There's a mixture of hung up and a decent one. God, these guys flop so hard. I swear I'm not doing this on purpose. Let's call this one four. All right, and five. Right away.
God dang it. And he's gone. All right, um, that was five. I caught one on five. I can't leave if I caught one, right? So I gotta, I gotta make another cast. Think. <laughs> he messed it. That means I can leave. We'll come back to this spot if anything else doesn't pan out, but kind of in a time crunch. Kind of want to see some other spots. So keep moving. Guys, it's a good tip. Just keep moving. But there is the old saying, don't leave bass to catch bass. But that's what I'm doing. It's also not as applicable when you're fishing a private pond. So we can catch them anywhere on this pond. We just gotta keep moving. Okay. I'm gonna try the wacky rig for a little bit. Alright, I am gonna backtrack a little bit. There's a hill right here I had to drive around. Oh, a fish just jumped out there. Man, this water's up. Alright, let's go get him. Did you guys see that? Oh great, I lost my worm. It's gonna bring some crazy glue and glue the ring and hook right there to help me keep from losing worms, but I forgot it. I knew I needed to and I forgot it. Okay, I'm gonna make a big pitch out to these reeds and see if there's anything on those. Okay, good. I didn't lose my arm. I think that guy was tiny. Try to get closer to that reed. There we go. Right next to it. There it is. There it is. I don't know what that was. He's probably not that big. He felt like a giant. Was hung up on something. Oh, oh, I think this is the biggest one, guys. Booped it. There we go. Ah, uh, he's probably not the biggest one. Close, though. Well, he got hung up in that reed. It sure felt like it. All right, let's try that other reed. See if I can make it that far. Looks like it. Oh no. Oh. Yeah. Dink. Dink. That guy was stretching line. I'm gonna stick to the reeds further out. I think they're they're holding bigger bass, so pull some more and then go check those reeds over there. Oh hit me right in the chest. <sighs> Whew, that kind of hurt. 
pulled the worm off the hook. The hook went flying straight into my chest. Usually I can dodge those, but totally missed that one. I know I probably need to quit throwing this wacky rig, but it's pretty fun. And it's easier to get the hook off of them. I don't like hooking into them too much. Oh, freaking did it again. Got hit in the shoulder that time. The reason I got hit in the shoulder is because I sacrificed my shoulder so it wouldn't hit me in the face. I do have sunglasses on. I know that's probably the first thing my mom's thinking. You're gonna put your eye out. Dink. I threw it. That's okay. He didn't feel too big. God dang it. I didn't want that. Thank you. Let's put that on the dink counter. I shook that one off. We'll put it on the dink counter. I want the dinks to shake off though. That way I can hurry up and get back in there. God dang it. Come on, man. When has anyone complained about catching fish? That's what happens when you catch too many. No, I don't like it here. Time to move. You took my worm, you son of a... I'm gonna try to send this out to Narnia. Hopefully, I can get out there with the wind at my back where hopefully the bigger bass are. And with bigger bass comes a bigger bite. Lots of grass out there though. There, shook itself off. God, there's fish jumping out there. This guy is pissed. He's pissed. A little bit of a better one. that hill take a look here Where did you come from? I did not see you. Let's see if I can get the four wheeler across this. There's 
probably the best spot. <laughs> 